Hello traders, FX Pip Collector here. Today is Friday, February 24th, and I'm going to be analyzing the DXY and the US dollar index starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the DXY, as you can see, we got a nice push to the downside. I still think this is a wave A. I believe the wave A is over and we're already going up for a wave B, and eventually we should end that and go down for a wave C. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can actually start to see the series of lower lows, lower highs, making up this wave A. Nice, big, impulsive move up. I'm pretty confident, even though it has not taken out Strutzer yet, that the wave A is complete and that we are already going up to make what I think is going to be an ABC of wave B. Probably all the way up to like the 61, maybe the 50% Fibonacci, before it ends up continuing back down to make that wave C. So let's uh, head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I like to switch back to the US dollar index. On the daily US dollar index, we got a 1, 2. This is all lower lows, lower highs for a 3, ABC of 4, and then it looks like a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of wave A. Nice big impulsive up for a 1, ABC down for the 2. I believe we're in the middle of a wave 3, and I do not think the wave 3 is over. I think it's eventually going to look like that to finish off this wave A. Wave A of wave B. So taking it down to the four hour time frame is where you can actually start to see some of the trends within a trend. You can see the trend for the one, you can see the trend for the A, the three waves up for the B, and a little bit of a trend for the C, A, B, C of two. And now you're also starting to see the higher highs, higher lows this whole way up for what I still see as a wave three of wave A. Now, I am definitely only looking for longs, and I'm only looking to go long at the end of these ABC pullbacks for the continuation of this big wave 3 of wave A. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, I'm only looking to go long, and I'm only looking to go long at pullbacks, like these pullbacks right here, ABC down and positive up. So right now, there's definitely no entry, but if the market does go down, which hopefully it will, then that's good for us because that gives us another opportunity to go long at the end of the next pullback. I'm looking for entries at the end of every single one of these pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.